To ensure success as a distance learner, you must prepare your computer. If you don't feel comfortable setting up your own computer, you are welcome to use computers in the MCC library or CATS lab to complete assignments. Visit the library section of the MCC website to look up hours of availability. Let's begin by installing a few free programs needed in this course. Open 3MIT.com slash updates.exe. Save the file. Run this file to install or update Mozilla Firefox and Adobe Reader on your computer. A few other applications are bundled in the installer, but you can ignore those. Both of these programs are free and are helpful in CIS 110. This neat little installer will take care of downloading each program for you and installing it. This prevents you from having to visit the different websites to download and manually install required software. Run this installer once per month to keep these programs updated. Some newer versions of Windows 10 will not allow this updates file to run. Try watching the video by Acer Support on YouTube. Follow the steps. Try running the updates file again. For additional information about this issue, search Google for Windows 10 in S mode FAQ. Here is the current page, but the link is subject to change. Check out the topic about switching out of S mode. Our installations are now complete. Close updates and the browser. Use Firefox in the future. Open malwarebytes.org in Mozilla Firefox. Click Free Download. Please keep in mind that the wording of the buttons is subject to change. If what you see doesn't perfectly match what's in this video, you should still be able to figure out which options to select. Click Save File. It will most likely be saved in the Downloads folder. Click the Download Progress button in Firefox. Click on the file. Click Yes. Click Personal Computer. Click Install. This may take several minutes to complete on slower internet connections. The program will launch, but you may need to click on it in the taskbar. Click the Get Started button. Click Maybe Later. Click the Get Started button again. Click the Scan button. A scan could take from 30 minutes to several hours to run depending on how many files are stored on your computer. Please allow the scan to run in its entirety. If you have no malware, you will simply click Done when the scan is complete. If you have malware, please follow on-screen instructions to remove it. 
Run Malwarebytes again to ensure that all threats have been removed. If you want to uninstall Malwarebytes, feel free to do so. How to uninstall software is covered in a later video. It is good to run Malwarebytes at least once per week to keep your system free of performance degrading spyware and other annoyances. You should also run a virus scan. Visit avast.com to download free antivirus if your computer is not already protected. Unlike Malwarebytes, Avast will run real-time to prevent viruses from entering your computer. However, no one tool can prevent everything. Be careful about what you click on, download, etc. Avoid free games and other items that could be bundled with malware. If you have older versions of Microsoft Office on your computer, uninstall them. Click Start. Type in Apps and Features. Click on the Microsoft Office entry. Click Uninstall. Follow on-screen instructions. Repeat for all instances of Office. Open 3MIT.com slash MCC slash DLO slash technology dot PDF in Mozilla Firefox. You may have already seen this handout if you recently completed the Distance Learning Orientation course. Follow the instructions in the Microsoft Office 365 section. I have already established my account so I cannot provide a complete walkthrough of the steps. I will share some highlights with you. Keep in mind that these steps may vary slightly from what you see on your screen because Microsoft frequently changes their web pages. Go to portal.office.com. Log in with your MCC email address and password. If this is your first time signing in, you may have to provide some additional information to verify your account. Click Install Office in the upper right corner. You may have to click it twice. Click on Office 365 Apps. Save the file. Run the file to begin the installation process. Continue following on-screen instructions as necessary to complete the installation. It should be a fairly automated process that requires very little intervention from you. Be patient because it could take several hours to install on a slower internet connection. After the installation finishes, sign out of Office 365 by clicking your initials or name in the upper right corner and clicking Sign Out.
You can install MCC's Office 365 on up to five devices. Just go to portal.office.com and sign in on each device to initiate additional installations. If you need help with this, please visit the CATS lab at the back of the MCC library. Close all open windows.